welcome to Hobby Concepts YouTube channel. Today um, I'm going to be unboxing HG's P801 uh, 8x8 military truck. Now I've already done the 802 and that's a really full unboxing video about half an hour long so I'm going to skip over a lot of the, of the unboxing because the two are very similar so just take a look at my other videos if you want to see the complete unboxing. Like the uh, 802, the 801 um, is the heavy expanded uh, military truck, um, eight-wheel drive, uh, super high quality. It comes in a, a nice cardboard box, but what's really cool is it includes this heavy-duty foam carry case with a magnetic latch that really holds the truck securely, and you can see that I've already got the truck out of here. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick review of that case, which is wonderful. So here's the truck. Now there are two different versions by HG. The 801, which is the, the truck version, and the 802, which I've already reviewed, is the tractor version. So this is the truck. Uh, varies by having a truck bed and again just a beautiful quality piece. I did a few measurements for you. It's 29 inches long, 8.5 inches wide, 9 inches tall. It has uh, flip down panels with little latches on the sides and on the rear. Very nice quality, very, very heavy duty. The truck bed, I couldn't believe it when I opened it, is a piece of machined alloy aluminum that's, uh, that's coated in, in green. And it's just beautiful. Uh, the truck bed alone is a gorgeous piece. This truck weighs over 19 pounds without a battery. 19 pounds, very, very heavy. Uh, super high quality detailing. I continue to be really impressed with the uh, HG Models um, military truck. Uh, it comes with a 2.4 gigahertz radio. It's in a separate little box. It, it has uh, two instruction manuals. One is the just overview manual of the truck and the other one is a complete assembly manual. It comes with a uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio. And it comes with some additional parts, including mud flaps and uh, steering cables, as this has cable steering. And we're going to take a closer look at this in just a second. All right. The model has uh, superb detailing all the way. A little latch here opens the door. You can see it has a fully detailed interior, uh, including the inner door panel and working door latches. Uh, beautiful little instrument panel. Very scale uh, detailing for a model like this. As we move on back, see the fuel tanks. The engine is a, uh, a very nice V8 Caterpillar engine with the electric motor inside. So the detailing in here is really beautiful. I can't get in there good with a camera to show you, but very nice. All four, all, all four front wheels steer, and then on the bed, I mentioned they have these drop-down side panels. I'm going to drop this one down. They have beautiful detailing on the inside as well as the outside with the tie-down handles, the ribbing. Open another one here. You can see the, the ribbing detail on the anodized aluminum floor. Uh, looks like this would be easy to remove with just a few screws uh, for access to the chassis underneath. The, uh, the tires, and I had another person ask me about these tires, are medium soft. I'm going to squeeze one of them here. So they're not real soft, but they're not hard either. Uh, kind of nice for a model like this and of course it does weigh 20 pounds so the tires have to support that weight and they do a good job of it. The tailgate, oh, 
axle drops down. You see the ribbing detail on the inside. Up here on the side, you can see that the radio gear is housed in the fuel tank. That's the speed control and I think it's a battery eliminator. Pretty heavy duty. On the other side, the receiver is mounted in this little box here. And then you can see the details we move forward. Spare tire, again, opening door, fully detailed interior, both the driver and the passenger side. On the front, put this up here, you can see the metal grill here, which is designed for a speaker, which uh, for the optional sound system, which this doesn't have, but I will be installing that and showing the installation procedure in a future video. Uh, underneath, there's a heavy duty metal skid plate. You can see that it has clear light lenses for lights, uh, which I will also be adding and doing a video on that. All right. Here's the uh, chassis um, bottom view. <laughs> it's just as beautifully detailed on the bottom as it is the top. Uh, so we're going to start here in the front. You can see our heavy-duty metal skid plate, and this is really a, a pretty heavy-duty piece, um, followed by our two front differentials. And this truck has unique steering, just as I mentioned on the 802. It uses cables here, you can see, for steering. And these cables are hooked to a servo that's underneath the skid plate. There's an individual servo for each axle. There's a little slider right here, so the cables pull this in and steer the wheels. And I'm going to put a battery in it and show you that in just a minute. So moving back, you can see our pretty heavy-duty drive line here. The steering sliders for the second axle. Right here is a two-speed transmission. You can see the shift lever just peeking out down here, and there's a little servo hidden here for, uh, for the two-speed shifting. And then we move back to the rear axles with the differentials. Very heavy duty. Most of these components are metal. Uh, the frame's metal. The differential housings are, are metal. Uh, everything is supported on ball bearings. Uh, really a nice uh, piece. And then we move back to the, to the back of the truck. Our battery compartment slides in right here, uses a standard size battery. The only thing I have found about this truck I really don't like is you have to use a screwdriver to remove this cross beam to slide the battery in and out. But uh, I think I can figure out a way to overcome that. And uh, so now I'm going to uh, quit here, throw a battery in it, and then I can show you some close ups of the steering. All right. Uh, Slid a battery in here. It's ready to run. You can see uh, the whole drive line here working. Everything looks pretty good. What I really wanted to show you though was the steering. So we'll take a look right down here at the steering. As I mentioned, there's cables right here that wrap up to the servo and there's a slider through here to keep everything in a line. So on the steering, you can see how these cables pull. Slider keeps it going. Actually, it's a pretty cool system. It works good. Steering's nice. Everything is supported by ball bearings. It looks really good. We'll zoom out here on this whole chassis a little bit more. Take a look at the drive line work. It looks really good. That tire is wedged on the board there. That's why it wasn't working. All these are open diffs. Uh, looks like I can probably put some heavy grease in them and tighten them up a little bit. Some wiring down here I'll probably hide. A little bit of paint. Very nice scale detailing on the bottom of the model. Okay. Alright, so there's our uh, HG Models P801 HEMTT 8 axle, 8 wheel military truck. Uh, 8 wheel drive. <laughs> it's big. This is a King Hauler to me, a King Hauler tire. I just want to put that down there and show you the difference. 
But you know the King Hauler is not exactly small. This is a big truck. Again, almost 20 pounds. Uh, beautifully boxed. Very high quality. Be sure to uh, subscribe to my, my ch YouTube channel because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on this truck and the 802 with super detailing, adding sound, adding lights. I'm building a trailer for the 802. And so I'll have a lot of additional videos from HG models as well as a lot of other scale modeling videos, including a lot of lighting coming up. Thanks so much for watching.